Hey guys, we're pulling into Wilcox right now. Um, where we're going to go is over to the grave of uh, Warren Earp. He's the younger brother of, uh, of Wyatt Earp. He, uh, he never had anything to do with the OK Corral. He was gone in California with his parents at the time when that happened. They ended up coming back and kind of helping Wyatt with some law work and stuff like that. And, uh, and then Wyatt eventually left. The whole, all the Earps, you know, one of them was killed. And, and, uh, but anyways, they, they all left. But uh, Warren ended up coming to Wilcox, and apparently he was like a bully. He would bully people around and stuff like that because his name was Earp, you know, he was going off Wyatt's fame and all that stuff. Well, he was in a bar up here, and uh, it's no longer a bar, I'll show it to you, but uh, he went in here and he was, he was bad-mouthing this guy called, uh, his name was uh, John Boyett, and they worked on ranches and stuff out here, and he ended up shooting him, you know, and killing him. But uh, we'll, we'll go see the building right now and then his grave site where this happened. So we're, we're heading there right now. This is like the Main Street Wilcox here, coming right through town. Okay guys, we're gonna go up to the bar where, where Warren Earp was killed. There was even tell that there might have been a, a, a lover's quarrel between him and this other guy. That, that was never substantiated or anything. This is the bar right here where they killed him, or where Boyette killed him. There's a little plaque right here. It was the headquarters saloon right here. And it would, this location, the headquarters saloon, stood from the 1890s until it burned down in 1940. Warren Earp was shot and killed at the saloon on July 6, 1900. It's now a, uh, a vineyard is what it is. A lot of history in there, huh? But there was a lot of killings in there. So, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna run down and, and check out his his grave. See what it looks like. He's got a pretty. I'm sorry about the wind too. He's got a pretty neat headstone from what I saw in the pictures. So we'll go up there right now. And check it out. Okay. See you in a bit. And this is the graveyard. It's old, untaken care of. It's crazy. Pretty neat though. Okay, guys, we're here at the graveyard. And I again apologize for uh, oh wow look at that I apologize for the wind that was 1900 too when those people were buried here there's not a whole whole lot of graves out here and it hasn't been used for quite some time you can tell and it's, it's right outside of Wilcox just right on the outskirts look at that that was 1901 those are weird huh. I got Cyrus with me. We're, we're coming to check out Warren Earp's grave. And I see it. I just got to walk to it. I thought it was pretty interesting. I know Warren Warren uh, wasn't real famous like the other Earps. But uh, the reason he died is because he was just running his mouth. And then, like I said, they thought maybe they had a relationship going on. And it went bad. So turned into a fight and that was the end of it so we'll go out here and check this out I thought it was pretty cool that one is in oh wow that's 1886 that's a long time ago huh I just came across this grave right here and I can't hardly read it but it looks like 1817 it looks like the date that's a seriously old, old, old grave right there. Man, that's crazy. See, there's not a lot out here. You can look around, you see a grave there, there, there. You know, they're just scattered all over the place. Pretty wild, pretty wild. Look at this one, guys. They got blocks around the outside of it. Chester M. Rogers. And that one, I can't even see a date. What does that say? I don't see a date on it. It's an old one. It's pretty wild. Somebody was out here. I don't know what that is. Let's see. There's a bottle with something in it. It's got, it's got uh, a note in it. Whoa. Let's see. Oh, I can't. I can't read it. I don't know what it says. But anyways, this bottle's out here. Should we keep it? Looks like shampoo. No, no, leave it there. Okay. Looks like 
it's like shampoo. Okay, let's head this way. There's one that's that's uh, like broke down. You know, it's it's all gone. Can I take this? Hey guys, this one right here was a guy. L. L. Whitney died November 16, 1898, and it's uh, carved in this wood right here. Here's the other one. It's 64 years old. All right, let's get to the. Long time oh yeah, long, long time ago. That one there is 1895. That one's even older. Adam Haggy or Hagee. I know there's a there's a preacher named Hagee. So I don't know if he's related. Yeah. Okay, here we are. This is Warren Herb's grave right here. Warren Baxter Herb, 1855 to 1900. That is cool, man. Check that out. Wyatt Earp's brother. Now, I don't know if Wyatt came down for the funeral, because Wyatt didn't die until like 1929. Here it says, Remembering a Man of the West. Uh, I was trying to read the whole thing here. James, Jim, and Linda Groom, Kevin, Jay. Oh, they just got family members on there. Michael Hicks, a closer look. Huh. But that's what his, what his headstone looks like. He's got like beer, uh, a bottle of beer and a, a gun and a hat and stuff like that. Pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you can look online. There's a lot of information on it. I just kind of touched on it. He, uh, he was in that bar that night and that guy came in and called his name and then they got into this fight and boom there it went <coughs> bless you but this is where he is he's laid to rest right here so if you're ever in Wilcox just google it and you can find it it's right here it's right back in the back corner of the cemetery it sticks out pretty good because they've got this this big metal uh, headstone here deal oh yeah that's heavy stuff that ain't ever going anywhere like that. that's some thick steel right there Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends. And uh, you know I like to support the people that support me. So I will chat with you later. Have a good one. Thank you.